Hello, I'm Justin. And I'm Kyle. And we are here in historic downtown Noonan visiting Full Circle Toys. This is a vintage toys and games store. It goes full circle, right? We buy it, we sell it back, and then they buy it back, refurbish it, and it goes back to you. When the nostalgia hits you, you gotta come here. I shouldn't have gotten rid of that! Get so, the toys from your childhood. So let's go look at it. This place is huge, one of, if not the largest places like this at least in the southeast that I've seen. Here we go, into the store. And as you see, <laughs> it's a lot of stuff. This store is pretty big. Oh, hello, Spider-Man. He greets you. They've got comic books, they've got video games, action figures, they've got everything. Hello, how are you They're doing? Almost like twins, aren't they? Yeah, almost. <laughs> Over here we have some vintage puzzles. What? Oh my goodness. Might have to get that. The Barbie aisle, Coca-Cola over here before we get down to the Barbie. Oh, is that Frozen 2 horse? Ooh, we have some Barbies and that most of these are somewhat common. Look at that, the house. Strawberry shortcake. Some DC, some X-Men, some Batmans. Is it Batman? Batmans. I say Batmans is, Bat and that makes total sense. Some giant Hulk. We have the Millennium Falcon. That's a Joel Schumacher Batman, isn't it? Batmobile? Maybe. Or maybe it's a made up one. And some vintage Ghostbusters with some newer figures. Oh, we had that wolf guy. Here's the original Ecto-1, the original Ghost Trap. Got some giant Funko Pops and there's tons more back there we'll have to look at. Avatar, that last airbender. Gollum! Got the Lego typewriter. And this Star Wars ship is known as the big white one. I'm very good at Star Wars. The Goldar from the movie. Let's go to your favorite section. You know a little bit about Transformers, right? I know right? a little bit about these guys. So we have some Titans Return, more recent ones. Some Uticon Trilogy stuff. What's the one thing you're drooling over most in this case? Oh, there you go. Complete working G1 Shockwave. And there's a complete Ultra Magnus. Look at this guy. Limited edition Grimlock. Funko Pop, Pop Optimus, Optimus I like to call him. A little bit of horror stuff, some Halloween stuff. I'm really good at reading boxes. So Star Wars, Battle Droid, Jar Jar Binks, Watto, and Darth Maul. Star Wars Pops, some older ones, some recent ones. Uh, and more Star Wars. I think people like Star Wars. I've heard people do like Star Wars. I don't know where I heard that from. We have Five Nights at Freddy, Scary Joker mask. They have more of the statues in the back. Oh, nice. What was his battle cry? Spoon! And lots and lots of oh, Batman. We've got some 90s stuff. We've got some 80s stuff. Two, early 2000s all the way up to current. I don't know who he is, but he looks awesome. Video game, Batman. Batman, Batman, Batman. You want Batman, it's here, baby. For the DC collectible fan that has everything, do they have a Squirrel Girl? You might wanna check. That's pretty good. Is this actual vintage or is this uh, I'm pretty sure that's vintage, it's Toy Wiz. 95. I would say before you show up here, Work out your neck. Make sure you stretch out, okay? This is a PSA. Before you walk into Full Circle Toys, you don't want to go, what's that? And then wake up with a huge crick in your neck. It's a thing I've seen a lot and I want to stop it. It's a real problem. What? Sweet. $200 Cthulhu statue. Doesn't everybody need that? If everyone doesn't already have it. A lot of the large statues over there, some vintage models. Hercules, everyone's favorite syndicated show. Ooh, Robin Hood. Oh, we had some of those with the real shooting bow and arrows. It goes on and on, baby. We can't show you everything. Walking Dead, which was filmed very close to Noonan, down in Sonoy, or Sonoya, however you want to say it. I'm sure both are wrong. Some original Spawn, Witcher, more pops. Signed Michael Vick football. Michael Vick apparently did not sign many things, so this is pretty rare. And they have a ton of these Star Wars Galactic heroes. The kiddier versions of these Star Wars characters. They're tons and tons adorable. Of totes and orbs. Republic gunship yeah. as seen on Cartoon Network. Look at the Coca-Cola R2 unit. And these giant Star Wars guys. Very, very cool. They're expensive. Looks like $200 for this guy. Wow. $200 for that guy. The big base, 1990 G.I. Joe, $700, complete in box. Come down, come down close to me. 
I gotta get real with you for a second. So Stretch Armstrong has been around a while. It's like since the 70s. Everyone knows the Stretch Armstrong character, but do you know his enemy? The snake. Stretch Serpent right there extremely rare figure they just didn't make that many of them apparently there was an episode recently of Pawn Stars where someone brought in just the head well now we have an entire figure right here in the box with the instructions now the owner told us you can't stretch the thing it's hardened so much just from over time this thing is sitting at six thousand dollars check it out a signed Mighty Morphin helmet Red Ranger, look at that. It's got them all. Super cool! I wonder if that thing has gone way up in value since, unfortunately, the Green Ranger passed away recently. Speaking of Green Ranger, an original Dragon Megazord with the figure. Wrestlers galore. The Ghost Striker X16. I knew that without reading it. I'm so impressed by your depth of knowledge. So here we have some vintage in card G.I. Joe. And we have some stuff out of card. Look at that Zartan. That thing, what was that called? The Bridge Layer. Awesome vehicles. The Mauler. The owner was telling us that's pretty rare, right? And it's complete. Yeah. So G.I. Joe suffered the same kind of thing Transformers has, where they had so many specific parts. They didn't reuse guns. They didn't reuse all their little bits and models, even the backpacks, just military backpacks. A lot of the G.I. Joes, I'd say most of them, had their own individually molded. When trying to piece these together later for vintage collectors, it's difficult. Transformers, same thing. All their missiles were different shapes. Their blasters were different shapes and colors, and they were all unique to the figure. And so that makes a completed one worth even more because if you're gonna lose or break anything It's going to be those little pieces. Yeah. Oh look the two-pack just like us Should we get that? I have a twin. So are you more of a Tomax or Zamot? Yeah, I'd say so. Which one's left-handed? The the one that not right-handed. <laughs> Kelly and Richard, the owners, are letting us go into their office and kind of show everybody how they process stuff. So they'll get a collection in, they'll buy it from someone, they'll bring it in here, It'll get sorted, and they'll find the pieces. Kelly will take it over to her desk, and she'll price it, and we'll bring it back out. What's with all the Viewmasters? She collects Viewmasters, and she has, I think Kelly told us that she has almost every single one they ever made. I would have never guessed that someone in the world collects Viewmasters. Look at <laughs> that one. Awesome. I mean, every kid had Viewmasters, right? There's a red Bumblebee. She said they have a Barbie number one somewhere back yes. here that needs to be put in its own special case. Mm -hmm. I see a Teddy Ruxpin back there. Look at that. Is that the cookie comp? That's mm -hmm. mask. M -m 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 -mask. Why wasn't that like the theme song of the pandemic? Wear your m -m 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 mask! Oh, remember those cavemen? Mm -hmm. We used to throw those guys under our Christmas train. They, they would always try to hop the train and they always missed. <laughs> I remember, dump off the Christmas tree. We have some awesome dino riders here in the box. Look at that, that's beautiful. And over here we have a Japanese toy, old tin toy model from 1969 Apollo mission. You thought that was it, but no, there's more. We're heading into the back where they house an entire section just devoted to games. We're talking video games, Pokemon games, Dungeons and Dragons games. In recent years, the aftermarket for vintage video games has exploded, and they got you covered if you're a collector. They've got original NES, they've got Super Nintendo, they've got everything in between. Some Dreamcast here. We never had a Dreamcast. Those are for people with dreams <laughs> that haven't been crushed. Look at these original NES games. How many of these work, do you think? Oh, they all work. They all work? Do they test they them? They wouldn't put them out if they... Oh, they really? Test okay. They test everything they put out. Really? But I thought these things only work like... Who did like, it? have a kid who come in who just blows in the games. <laughs> I am with Richard, the owner of Full Circle Toys. Thank you so much for letting us come in and walk around and bug your customers. Thanks for coming in. What was your favorite thing you've ever gotten in the store? I like seeing obscure stuff that doesn't, like we got a uh, Game Boy Pocket the other day or a Game Boy Micro the other day, stuff you just don't see all the time. Obscure gaming systems like Lynx or Jaguar or stuff that people, maybe it's not the mainstream thing. 
from a gaming side, it's just kind of any kind of obscure system that doesn't come in a lot. What was the weirdest thing that came in through the door that you were like, I don't even know what this is? You ask a lot of difficult questions. <laughs> just when you thought you'd seen it all, they bring in something else you've never seen before. So that, that happens, every, believe it or not, that happens a lot. The other day we had that, what was it, the Virtual Boy. It's not that obscure, but I mean, you just don't see a lot of them. We've been here 15 years. We've never had one come through the door for sale until the other day. So you just never know. Well, thank you so all much, right, sir. Thanks for coming in. We'll see you around. Come see us. Vintage Records over here. What's funny about the vintage records, it's always older people that complain. We don't understand why you don't like the old stuff, it's better. But with records, it's kind of the opposite. I think older people are like, why are you young people in the records? Records are coming back and it's always teenagers in this section. The older one was saying this is pretty rare. It's sealed. More figures, video game figures. That's just funny. Look at the original Game Boys. This is what I'm really interested in, is these old DS games. I cannot ever take my son in this store because he will just stand here and drool and ask for all of these things. I was too old when Pokemon so came been, out to any. really get into it. I remember Kyle and I would come home from school and watch a little bit of it, but we'd pretty much turn it off after Team Rocket because to us, Team Rocket was the best part of that show. I didn't even know this existed, but they have sealed packs of the Team Rocket booster packs. Each one is valued at $330. Right beside it, an original factory sealed 1980 Dungeons and Dragons set valued at $1,200. That is gorgeous. Look at the artwork on that. Well, while we're on the subject of Pokemon, this is how you pick single cards. They don't lay them out for you. They have their entire inventory just on the computer. You just walk up. You just scroll through and search for what you're looking for. Now we're being granted exclusive access to see their storage area. When they get stuff in and it's missing stuff, they'll put it up here and then they'll try to sort it all together. Oh my goodness, it goes all the way back there. So this is just one area. This is the G.I. Joe section where they've had people working to piece these together, find the right parts and even do repairs. Hey, wait, do you smell that? I smell Transformers. Look at this! Here's a bag of Blitzwings. Here's a really sad bag of broken sound waves. The door is always broken on sound wave. We always depend on the kindness of strangers. That was a Gone with the Wind reference. I'm standing here with Kelly, one of the owners of Full Circle Toys. Thank you so much for letting us come in your store. What is the coolest thing you've ever had in the store? So when I was little, my sister and I, we really wanted the Barbie Dream House, like the original A-frame Barbie Dream House. One day a lady came in, she brought the Barbie Dream House in, and I let out like this squeal that I didn't even know I had. And I was like, I called my sister up. I'm like, we finally got it. We got the Barbie Dream House. But we get a lot of, you know, I collect. G.I. Joe and Viewmaster, so I get excited when those things come in. What is the one thing that people are constantly calling and saying, do you have? Probably Pokemon cards. A lot of people call and ask, do you have the new Pokemon cards? As far as vintage stuff, uh, G.I. Joe and Star Wars, always. Those are our number one sellers. We specialize in tracking down like the hard to find stuff that you can't buy at like Walmart or Target. I came in here one time and one of the craziest things I saw, you had a he-Man battle cat, a little oh, yeah, riding yeah. toy yeah, that with the springs great. on the frame. That is really hard to find and it didn't last very long. It sold really fast. That's one of the fun parts about the job is that you really don't know what's going to come in. Mm -hmm. So what we haven't had a lot of is a lot of rare carded Star Wars stuff. So we have a few of them here and there that come in, but we don't get a lot of that in. So that I would love to have. If anyone has anything they want to sell, you know, bring it to the store. Yeah. And remember they do buy, sell, and trade. So yeah. if you have stuff you want to get rid of, give them a call. The link to their website and phone number and all that stuff is in the description. Our number one thing is to try to match people up with toys they had when they were kids. We get excited to do that. If there's anything anyone's looking for, you know, please let me know because I love the challenge. Well, thank you so thank much. You. We I will be it. back. All right. Check it out, Full Circle Toys. Oh, and we are here in his... Thank you so much for watching. If you want to check out Full Circle Toys, all of their information is in the description below. And while you're down there, why don't you give that subscribe button just a little tickle, a little click, and click that bell if you want notifications. If you know anyone else who likes this kind of stuff, share this video, and we will see you guys very soon. Thank you so much.